So many leaders, you know, they wear burnout almost as a badge of honor, um, as evidence that you know they're working really hard and doing all the right things. And sometimes when they get asked, "How do you do it all?" Even they say, "Well, I don't sleep." Right? And then it just feels like an implosion waiting to happen. So. Applying what you've applied uh, to the athlete experience for their performance, what might be some practical advice you could give to a, a leader who's listening right now for their own recovery? Um, we have a habit of doing this in sports performance teams, so not the non-athlete groups, uh, the coaches, first in the car park, last to leave. And um, this, this is not... It's, you know, it's, it is very present in, in sports performance, even though the, the thinking of overtraining an athlete, of simply you, you are not getting return from your work now, means that you have to review your, your practice. Um, there's, with, with athletes, I think there's a parallel that I think is useful where a bit of work will get you fitter. A bit more work will get you fitter still fully dedicated uh, full-time training will get you very fit. And so they, they draw an association between that work and their development. And every elite athlete has grafted for the accomplishments that they've, they've created. I would imagine for most high achievers, that's true. It's the extra mile that they've gone. It's the discretionary effort. It's the fact that when they were off task, they were thinking about an idea. Uh, they were they might have been texting somebody to say, what about this? And then that led to a breakthrough. And so you get this reinforcement. Um, what I hear and see in executive teams is that is that it's not necessarily the graft, it's the quality of the decision making that is key. And so for an athlete, it's not necessarily the 100 hours that they're putting in um, each month. It's, it's more to do with the, how they're delivering some of the top race pace sessions, if you like, to draw mm -hmm. the parallel. So for an executive who might have to, to almost rely on their brain power to be able to make those split decisions, 49, 51 decisions where they're weighing up the, the, the pros and the cons that will have ramifications for a whole tribe of people. Um, then I think you're in a, in a space of, of what, do I, what do I need to do to, to be in a place to make that decision? Um, so what I see um, typically and this is this is how I would um, approach the problem is is getting a handle on when those decisions start to uh, deteriorate. Now, typically, uh, for what we know for some of the brain based sports, is that you would start to chop up some of the practice and the training. And so, what I see people doing in work is doing five hour meetings, ten hour zooms nowadays, where You've, you're, the prefrontal cortex is exhausted from the, the effort and the work. And so very simply asking the question, if we were performance focused, how would we structure our, our day is, is a critical question. Um, I think we could get into sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll put that one as, a, as a, an area that is worth perhaps exploring, but there are two key areas that I think are sleep included that are um, accumulative. If you start doing them, you'll benefit, and then you'll have a little bit more energy to be able to do that again. Um, and the two are sleep and exercise, um, and protecting those areas. <clears throat> and what we know from those those sports um, that are high cognitive load, what we know from the, the research work around memory champions um, is that, that a lot of the, the ability is developed overnight. And so it's hardwired in and learn and connected. And so if you're depriving that, then you're doing effectively what, you, what your um, 
what our rowers were doing pre previously, where they're not recovering, they're not allowing the adaptation to to um, occur. So Mihai Chik sent me high has done a lot of work in this area where you've got um, your immersion in the work. That's the that's the hard work. That's the training. That's the meeting. You've then got incubation. <clears throat> excuse me. Your incubation where you've got time off task to let it manifest for a physical adaptation as you're building new proteins, building new muscle. And then you've got inspiration where effectively you've got adaptation and you've got that improvement. You've got the, the, the hardwired uh, cognitive skill in place. Uh, and and uh, it's a, it's a, it's an area that I think everyone will be familiar with, but um, using exercise to enhance your day uh, is, is something that I, I just don't see people doing nearly enough of. Um, when it's actually either providing a break, it's setting you up uh, for stress management during the day, or it's resetting from a, a stressful day too. Where it's just huge capability improvement uh, that you would do if you were performance focused.